Hello and welcome back for the third and final portion of this uh, 2x03, 2go3 tutorial. Uh, we're dealing with lines um, and graphing because that's also an important part of economics. Uh, so I'm going to actually do a first sort of review thing because lines are actually that important and then I'll give you some of the practice graphing uh, problems to work with and that will be it for the review and then I'll actually start delving into uh, some of the material for the course so the first thing to recognize or first thing to be able to do is to recognize a line okay well anything in two space can really be a line importantly is that this is a straight line uh, so in y equals mx plus b, which for me was ninth grade, I don't know when you learned that, um, we have two our two spaces. Uh, we say this line is in xy space. So our graph has y on the vertical axis and x on the horizontal axis. It actually doesn't matter, you can switch it, but this is the convention that we're used to, uh, where b is just some constant. Okay. Uh, so also the other term that we haven't defined yet is m, and it is the slope. Okay, And that holds for any line anywhere. If something is multiplied by x, or x squared, or x cubed, it's part of the slope of the line. If something is just by itself, or is by some multiplied by some third term that you're holding constant, it is part of the intercept. So I'm going to write intercept here. Okay, so if my line happens to be y equals negative 3x plus 20, then this negative 3 is the slope, and this 20 is the intercept. Okay, so what if I have a more complicated line? What if y is um, 2x squared plus 6x plus 3? Well, I'd already told you that these things are going to be the slope. And this is going to be the intercept. Now, with a quadratic equation, Right, these things that I've labeled slope aren't actually the slope per se until you do something with them. Well, what do you do with a line to get the slope? Well, you might notice that I didn't underline the x here, and that's because slope is just the first derivative of the y equation. Okay, and I'm going to write this. I should have written this as x instead of y, because the slope is just the y function, the first derivative with respect to x. Okay, so in my first equation here, where I had negative 3x plus 20, right? Well, f prime of y is negative 3. And interestingly enough, that's what I labeled as the slope. In the second example, uh, the slope of the line, right, f prime of y, or f prime of x, I should stop doing y, is uh, 4x plus 6. So the only difference in between the slope of a straight line and the slope of a quadratic or cubic or quartic or I don't even know what the word for the fifthic of an equation is, is just the first derivative of the line. So in this case, and in all other higher order equation cases, it depends on x. Okay. So with that in tow, um, I would like you to approach graphing these lines that I'm about to click on. Uh, so find the slopes of the following lines, and then I'd like you to try to graph them as accurately as possible. Uh, there's a follow-up question to each one. Where would a line y equals 31 minus 3x intersect with the line from part A? That is 15x minus 5. And the second one is what is the slope of parabola B? at x equals 20. 
Okay, so I will get you to pause the video and I will be back in five seconds with the answers. Okay, so the answer to part A and its subsequent follow-up question, and I apologize, I can't draw straight lines on this tablet, it tries to correct it, and even if I trace it out with a ruler, it gives me a crooked line, so I have given up on trying that. Uh, but if you would imagine that this line is straight, uh, the important things are you have the, this point 1 over 3 comma 0, and this point negative 5, and that you know that it intersects with the other line at point 2 comma 25. So that's x equals 2, y equals 25. Okay, for the second part, the answers look like this. Uh, the slope at x equals 20 is negative 30. Uh, the important points for this one are this negative 1 comma 0, 0 comma 11, 5 comma 36, and 11 comma 0. So if you got those ones, great. Uh, see you later. And if not, then you can follow along with me as I show you how to do these. Okay, so the equation for this line, I'm going to write out again. Okay, so remember that I said that this was the slope and that this was intercept. Alright, so the slope of the line, right, is f prime of x. So that becomes the slope of the line, okay? The intercept, right, the y-intercept, if I set at e x equal to 0 and solve for y, then I have that y equals negative 5 when x is 0. That's where this point comes from, okay? This point up here, I've just chosen at random. I've set x equal to 1 and uh, found that y was 10 in that instance. And then had I been on paper and drawing with a ruler, I would have just connected those two lines. The other interesting um, item of note is the uh, x-intercept when y equals 0. And for that I say 0 equals 15x minus 5. Right? I'm setting y to 0 and I want to know what x is. Then 5 equals 15x or x equals 5 fifteenths or x equals 1 third, which is where this point right here comes from. Okay, uh, to find where it intersects with y equals 31 minus 3x, I have that y is going to equal 31 minus 3x. y is going to be the same for both lines where they intersect. So I'm going to set 15x minus 5 equal to 31 minus 3x. Okay, I'm going to do some algebraic manipulation. I'm going to bring in the negative 3 over to this side. I'm going to bring the 5 over to this side. That gives me 18x equals 36. Uh, or x equals 36 over 18 equals 2. Okay, so that gives me the uh, x coordinate. Now to solve for the y coordinate, I can plug this 2 back into either line. Right, so 31 minus 3 times 2 equals 25, and that's an and sign. Uh, 15 times 2 is 30, minus 5 uh, is also, sorry, I'm going to get rid of that, I didn't mean to draw a bracket there, is also 25. Okay, so if those two numbers didn't work out when I plugged my 2 in, then I know that that's not the intersection point. Okay, so that is how we do that first with the linear. And let's move on to the slightly more complicated one. Okay, I'm going to write the equation out again. It was x squared plus 10x plus 11. Okay, so in order to graph this line accurately, there's a bunch of points I want, right? I want where it's at its maximum, and I want all the intercepts I can find, right? 
So since it's a parabola, right, I'm going to have two x-intercepts, and I'm going to have the one y-intercept, right, which is the obvious solution when I set x equal to 0, then y equals 11. So this intercept here comes from just setting x equal to 0. Okay, uh, let's do the other two intercepts before we tackle the maximum. So with this equation, I'd like to find where y equals 0. So I have negative x squared plus 10x plus 11 equals 0. Okay, well, I just want to factor this, right? So I know that if I'm going to have negative x squared, I need to have a negative x in one and a positive x in the other. So I'm going to have x, I'm going to have negative x over here. Okay, now I'm looking for two numbers to complete this equation. The product of which must be 11 and the difference of which, because I have a negative, must be 10. So those are going to be 11 and 1. So this is going to be x plus 1, and this is going to be negative x plus 11. Now you can't switch those around because the 1 has to be multiplied by the negative x, where the 11 has to be multiplied by the positive x. Okay. So that means that if these things equal 0, then my options for zeros are x equals negative 1 from the first, or x equals Right, negative x equals 11, so x equals 11. Okay. So those are my zeros corresponding to this point and this point. Okay. Now let's tackle finding the maximum value of this function. Well, we need to find the slope, right? So the slope of this line is f prime of y of x. So f prime of x, you can tell I don't work with this notation much, I keep trying to say y, uh, is going to be negative 2x plus 10. So that's the slope of this line, right? It is dependent on x, right? And that's where I get this slope at x equals 20, right? I just plug 20 into here, I get negative 2 times 20 is negative 40, plus 10 is negative 30, right? So right off the bat, that's where this comes from. Okay. So now knowing that the slope of this line is negative 2x plus 10, right, I want to find the maximum value of it, right? Well, what's true at the maximum or the minimum if it were opening in the other direction is that the slope is 0, okay? So I want to set this slope equal to 0. Okay. And I'm just going to solve this through for x. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. Okay, and I get x equals 5, right? So I have 5 as my x value here. And I just need to solve for what y is when x equals 5. So I plug in here, negative 5 squared is 25, or sorry, negative 25, uh, plus 10 times 5 is 50. So I'm at 25 right now, plus 11 is 36, right? So that's where this 36 comes from. So maybe I'll write that out. Negative 5 squared plus 10 times 5 plus 11 equals 36. Okay? And that's all you need to know to graph this parabola. Um, so the important takeaways from this little part of the review is finding the maximum or minimum of a function, uh, finding the zeros, and if I hop back to the previous page, finding this x-intercept is going to be important in time. Okay, so thank you, and I will see you uh, at the first tutorial, which should be dealing with uh, creating production functions.